File item 158. This is ACA 5, Dr. Weber. Clerk will read. Well, semi constitutional amendment five by Assembly Member Weber and others and accolading the government preferences. Dr. Weber, you may open. Mr. Speaker and members, I rise today to present to you ACA 5, the California Act for Economic Prosperity and Opportunity for All. This measure seeks to allow California's effort to take meaningful steps to minimize inequality, prevent discrimination, and promote economic fairness. ACA 5 would allow California voters to restore the consideration of race and gender diversity in public contracting, public employment, and public education in order to create equal opportunity. Today, we are, as we look around the world and we see how there is an urgent cry, an urgent cry for systemic change. The ongoing pandemic, as well as recent tragedies of police violence, is forcing Californians to acknowledge the deep-seated inequality and far-reaching institutional failures that show that your race and gender still matters. And it leaves people with dramatically different results depending on the combination of the two in your life. The virus in itself did not discriminate, and yet we see the disproportionality of high, in terms of high infection, death rates among African Americans, Latinos, Native Americans, and Filipinos. We see record job loss concentrated in communities of color and the shattering of women and minority-owned businesses across the state. After 25 years of quantitative and qualitative data, we can see that race-neutral solutions cannot fix problems steeped in race. California's regressive ban on equal opportunity programs such as affirmative, such as affirmative action denies women and people of color a level playing field in the workplace and in education. Proposition 209, passed in 1996, cements the glass ceiling for women in business and stifles efforts to get young women to pursue STEM majors. It, diver it, diverts over, it has diverted over $1.1 billion of investment each year for women and black and brown owned businesses, unraveling the years of growth and advancement for, the, for these entrepreneurs. The ban on race conscious and gender conscious remedies do not allow for us to deal with root causes of systemic failures, and it prevents us from designing effective policies and programs to correct our ongoing history of bias and exclusion. Currently, California is out of step with 42 other states, being only one in eight states with this ban. For those who don't want to participate, uh, do not have to take up the mantle and act toward racial and gender equality. The removal of 209 would not burden you because it, per it is permissive and not prescriptive and does not mandate anything. But for leaders who want to help remedy gender bias and disparity, Proposition 209 has, uh, has only served as an impediment to act on best practices aligned with the United States Constitution. ACA 5 would allow California voters to revisit and express their views after 25 years. Both the new generation who are calling for change and those who recall the devastating effects and unintended consequences for before and after Prop 209 was in effect. ACA is a priority bill of the California Legislative Black Caucus, the Legislative Women's Caucus. It is endorsed by, endorsed by the Jewish Caucus and the LGBT Caucus and the Progressive Caucus. It is, it is sponsored today by over 250 different organizations, small business owners, and individuals in support. Members when the world watched in Minneapolis the symptoms of, of a much larger problem, and that was equally disturbed as the, as the officer who had his knee on, on George Floyd, Floyd's neck was the officer who, and as well as the officers who stood by and were complicit and allowed it to happen, even blocking standbyers from helping. Today I ask this legislature, I hope that this legislature will no longer be complicit in the status quo, that we will not idly sit back and rest in gender, with gender and racial inequality. And further, that at the very least, we would, we would allow California voters to may have their voices heard about the lack of opportunity, the unjust and unfair system, and, and whether or not they want to uphold Proposition 209. For these reasons, I respectfully ask for an I vote on ACA 5. Thank you, Dr. Weber. Ms. Reyes, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I, too, rise in support of ACA 5. California's incredible achievements its beacon of hope and new beginnings would not be possible without diversity, without our diversity. We cannot celebrate the diversity of our state without acknowledging that minority groups 
face discrimination and disparities stemming from institutional and systemic challenges. Communities of color have been hit the hardest by the coronavirus pandemic with both the economic and health impacts. As these communities mourn higher rates of COVID infections and deaths, they also have to simultaneously navigate higher unemployment rates. It is clear that we do not have an equal playing field. By allowing California voters to remove the ban on affirmative action and allow gender, gender, racial, and ethnic diversity to be considered as one of the factors in public employment and public education, if we do that, we work towards equity. Equity is not giving everybody the same resources. It is giving each person the appropriate resources and opportunities they need to succeed. Equity is leveling the playing field so that no one group has a higher rate of poverty and other negative outcomes. Until we achieve equity, we cannot truly celebrate the many faces that make California exceptional. For these reasons, I respectfully urge an I vote. Thank you, Ms. Reyes. Ms. Gonzalez, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today as the chairwoman of the Latino Caucus in support of repealing Prop 209. We have always been unanimously supportive in our desire to have this proposition repealed. And the reason is quite simple. If you look around our caucus, we knew that a vast majority, except for their, our very youngins, we all benefited from affirmative action. We knew that. In fact, everybody...